technology can kill you. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Once again, leaving from a lake here in Carrollton. I uh, just had breakfast with Don, and we had a very uh, interesting conversation. He's not on his bike. That's his car right there. He um, had the cataract surgery uh, about a week or so ago, and he's waiting to heal up before he starts riding again. But this is a little bit different ride for me today. I'm actually uh, going to split this uh, motor vlog up into two sections because I am on my way to a doctor's appointment. I'm going to a dermatologist this morning. I do like an annual checkup. So I thought I would motor vlog at the beginning and the end of this uh, little ride. It's actually on the way home, so no big deal. But the topic I want to talk about today, I've been thinking a lot about. I've got a couple of topics I really want to cover on motor vlogs. I've got one coming up in the next few days I just can't wait to talk about, but I'm not going to spoil the surprise. First of all, I want to thank all of you that watched and chimed in on my trunk extension video. Did not get a lot of great comments about that product. The, uh, uh, the company that manufactures that product actually emailed me a very surprisingly kind email saying they appreciated my uh, input and everybody else's comments and they were uh, taking those comments to heart and going to uh, maybe, I don't know if they're going to redesign the product in the future or what they're going to do, but uh, anyway, that trunk extension is no longer on my bike, just so you know. And if anybody's in the market for one in white, uh, please contact me. <laughs> I can make you a really good deal. But I have a new product I just installed yesterday, and uh, you will have a review of that coming probably today or tomorrow hopefully I've got to get it approved first it is a sponsored video so I do have to get approval from the company but once uh, that's done you'll have that video but I've been doing a lot of thinking since we got this new car recently this new SUV I've noticed it's got a lot of different uh, safety features that our previous car did not have. I am getting a little concerned about all of this technology that's being added to not just motorcycles but also cars. Technology can kill you and the irony is most of this technology is designed for the purpose of safety and yet I fear that it may end up having the opposite effect. The problem with all of these technologies is you get lulled into a sense of security and the more technology they add to motorcycles and cars it makes you think you don't have to drive I'll give you an example this lane keep assist feature that's in a lot of cars now all that does is encourage people to text while they drive because they feel like the car at some point will take over for them and fix it for them and correct. So it makes you a worse driver, not a better driver. And also there our new car and our previous car had this too, but you have these sensors that if you're backing up, it will start beeping at you if you're about to hit something. Maybe your car has that. Well, the problem with that technology is what if you get into a car that doesn't have that feature? You've now become so used to that technology and you're used to not paying attention when you're backing up. You just rely on the backup camera or the sensors and now you go rent a car that doesn't have that feature 
And guess what's going to happen? This happened to my girlfriend. She was driving our new Lexus with that feature. She got used to it. And then she went and drove her mother's car, which is a 2007 Mercury Marquis. And it didn't have any backup sensors. And like the second day she was driving that car, she backed into a pole. So did the technology really help her in that case? So I'm going to go through a few more of these technology uh, rants when we come back. And I would uh, love to know your opinions on this. Am I the only one that feels this way? Be curious to know. Oh, I got a good parking place right up front. Okay, so I'll see you when I get out of the doctor's office. Well, I'm back. I got my dermatology appointment uh, completed without too much pain and suffering. Uh, the good doctor had to freeze off a couple of little spots. I've always uh, had dermatological issues, yet I've never really spent that much time in the sun. It's not like I'm a sun worshiper or anything. I'm just one of those people that has a certain type of complexion that you have to be careful. And uh, that means an annual trip to the dermatologist. So. When I left, we were talking about technology and how I believe it can actually make driving and riding your motorcycle less safe. Let me give you a couple more examples. Let's talk about ABS brakes as an example, which I'm a big believer in ABS brakes. Don't, don't get me wrong. On the motorcycle, for sure. But... How many times do people get a bike with ABS brakes and they think that precludes them from learning good riding skills and good stopping skills? They think the ABS brakes are just going to do everything for them. And you can still end up in a bad situation with ABS brakes. They're not the end-all be-all. It doesn't replace good riding technique. Here I am talking about good riding technique as I'm talking on a motor vlog while I'm riding a motorcycle. And I already told you my thoughts on lane change warnings and, and uh, backing up, you know, the little warnings when you're backing up the car. You know, all of these things, people tend to want a buzzer to replace driving or riding skills. And I think they just make you a worse rider and a worse driver. And the ultimate expression of technology gone awry and is going to kill a lot of people are self-driving cars. This whole notion of getting in a car and not even having your hands on the steering wheel is just insanity in my book. There's too many variables. There's too much road construction everywhere you go. And the problem is people will get used to that idea that they don't have to drive the car. And then when a situation comes up where they have to take control, they won't know how to take control. They will have lost that skill and that ability. I guess my biggest complaint with self-driving cars is nobody is really asking for this technology. This is not a consumer-driven technology. It's not like there were millions of people out there saying, man, if we just had self-driving cars, we'd be more than willing to pay an extra $10,000 for that feature. This is being driven from the top down, not from the bottom up. The car manufacturers, primarily Tesla, is the one who really started this, decided that we all needed a self-driving car. Now, while they're doing all of this, adding all this technology that nobody wants, they ignore the technology that I want. I'll tell you what I want in my car. I want a built-in dash cam 
in fact I want a front cam and a back cam built into the car and I want an SD card in the glove box that I can take out that's always recording it's always recording everything and it's on an SD card why do I have to go, go buy some cheap Chinese made dash cam system with wires and crap strung all over my car why doesn't Lexus and all these car makers, why don't they just build that into the car? That's something that I'd be willing to pay for. I could care less about a self-driving car. And honestly, after spending a couple of weeks with this lane change assist, I, I don't think it works worth a damn anyway. Now I can see some uh, advantage to the uh, adaptive cruise control or the radar cruise control, I think some of them call it. But again, let's say you've got a car with adaptive cruise control. You get used to that idea of setting the cruise and not having to worry about the car in front of you. Because if you start coming up on the car in front of you too fast, the cruise control is going to take over and slow the car down. And now you go get in that 2007 Mercury that doesn't have adaptive cruise control and you forget. You don't, you're not paying attention because you're so used to having that technology or you rent a car that doesn't have that feature and you get on the highway and you set the cruise control. Next thing you know, you've run into somebody because you didn't have that technology. So I don't know. I'm just, I don't know that all this stuff is really an advancement what are your thoughts put it in the comments down below am I am I the only one that thinks all this technology is gonna it could do more harm than good I'm not saying in all cases but it could do more harm than good one more thing about self-driving cars I just thought of. I want to put this in at the end of the video if you're gonna have this technology that's gonna take over driving of a car at some point that computer system is going to have to make a moral distinction. And this will happen. You're driving on a mountain highway with a 500 foot drop on one side and a mountain on your other side. You've got your family in the car and a deer runs out in front of the car. Now that computer is now going to have to make a moral decision. Do you swerve to miss the deer, which means you're gonna run off the cliff and kill the family, or do you go ahead and hit the deer? Is it going to be aware of the consequences of swerving out of the way? There's a lot of decisions that have to be made in a split second that the human brain can make. I'm not sure if there's a computer system right now with the AI ability to make those kinds of decisions. And that would scare the hell out of me. We've already seen situations where Teslas have run right into a semi-truck because for whatever reason they either didn't detect it or they didn't see it as a danger. And I'm telling you, this whole idea, this whole notion of self-driving cars is foolishness and it's going to get people killed. Well, what do you think? Put it in the comments down below. And I will be home soon. I want to thank you again for joining me today and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. this video please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.